New at four, the investigation into the death of Tyree Nichols after the confrontation with Memphis police. Today, the Shelby County District Attorney General is speaking out about how his office handles cases involving police officers, the soon to be released police video of Nichols and his message for Memphis. Just days before the public gets a chance to see for itself the video of the police confrontation with Tyree Nichols, the man who died a few days later, Shelby County District Attorney General Steve Mulroy talked to WREG about how his office looks into investigations involving police officers. Whenever there's an officer involved, fatality of any kind, shooting or otherwise, I want to bring in the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation so they can do an independent and objective investigation into the facts. MPD says 29-year-old Nichols was taken to the hospital after he complained of shortness of breath after what they call two confrontations stemming from a traffic stop. Three days later, he died. Mulroy applauds police video being released. I favor release of any video that we have as soon as possible, as long as I do it within the bounds of the law and in a way that does not compromise an ongoing investigation. Wednesday, the U.S. Department of Justice stated the United States Attorney's Office opened a civil rights investigation in coordination with the FBI Memphis Field Office and the Civil Rights Division of the Department of Justice. The city of Memphis also said in a statement they are aware of the investigation and they, along with MPD, will cooperate with federal authorities. Transparency, I think, is very important in a case like this. I'm aware that there's a lot of public concern over cases like this. Um, sometimes maybe uh, a lack of public trust, concern about, you know, whether the, uh, there's going to be a cover-up, whether everyone's going to be really objective and do what they need to do. And Mulroy's message to Memphis during this investigation? I understand this, the special sensitivity when it, there may be some indication that, um, uh, you know, a fatality was the result of law enforcement officials. Uh, we're scrutinized that very carefully, and, and we're going to do what the facts in the law indicate is the right thing to do as quickly as we can without, again, compromising an ongoing investigation. The DA also tells me his administration's newly created Justice Review Unit will make recommendations of any possible prosecution of officers. He says the unit is independent and will be objective. 